Oh, uh, welcome to another update for our blackberries. We're, uh, we haven't set our bricks, so what we did was we just using the weight of this brick to hold this string along its side. We know that this is how wide it'll be. We know how wide this will be. Weight of this brick here to hold the string, so we know where to place our our board and still have our walkway. Finish digging the holes. We put uh, our levels up against it to make sure it's plumb. We got concrete poured. We're, we didn't put a lot of concrete in. So and it's a very sunny. So we're plumb. We're plumb the sun a four foot level. Four foot. And yeah, we're plumb. And we're plumb. Anyway, once this concrete sets up, it's not fast concrete. But here's one of those uh, tool tips for you. When you pour post holes, you can pre-mix it in a wheelbarrow or in a box or something if you want. Or you just do it the way they've always done it for a long time. That's the way the Romans did it too. Is you'll put your mix in, a pre-mix, to the height that you want. And then you pour your water on top. And osmosis will just draw it down. That's what we've been doing. That's why there's... It's still a little bit of water in here. I don't know if you can really see. And any excess water will be drawn into the soil and so you always get the right amount I mean you can put too much water in but this is actually a lot harder to do I mean you'd have to just fill it all the way up and then come back and put more in and more in and more in and that's not the way to do it anyway this is our pre-sifted soil from when we put our blackberries in we can do our 50-50 mix then Anyways, we're gonna, we've started our trellis. I've changed my mind on the design. I really like how the grape trellis has turned out and what they look like. And this will kind of keep the same theme going. And so what we'll do is we'll put a top across. This is at six feet. And uh, there's really no right or wrong way to do these. These blackberries are prolific. The only thing you want to remember is not to cut them less than two feet low. So what we're going to do is they'll come about two and a half feet. Then we're going to put a, a line across. We'll come up about six more inches. Put a line across. Another maybe six inches or eight or whatever. We'll divide it. And then we'll have one across the top along with the board. Now what you do is when you get to the height of your, your wire, you cut it an inch or two below and it'll put out runners. It'll stop vertical growth and it'll go horizontal. You then take those, you kind of wrap it around and tie it on until it reaches your other end. Then you'll cut them again, and when you do, it'll stop the horizontal growth. Even though it's over here, it'll then put out runners, and what it thinks is horizontal that you've laid down now, will you'll just train both up to your next wire and just wrap it around, and you just keep doing that until it's all the way at the top, and then when it's at the top, you cut off your, your terminal growth, the, the shoot, so it will stop growing, and then all the energy will go into fruit production. Anyway, that's where we're at, and that's our plan. Be a cloud watcher.